I'm Meredith Monk, and I'm very happy to be here teaching these wonderful music teachers. The name of this exercise is Vocal Rooms, and I think of it as a kind of spontaneous composition form. It, it consists of loops of musical material, and then it adds on person by person until it makes a composition. So we're dealing with musical ear, pitch, and, and um, rhythmic relationships. We're also dealing with spatial relationships in the room. Um, we can also add other layers, like uh, you could make the same kind of accumulation form with a landscape is another idea, or another idea is to go to something like a archetypal song form, like a lullaby or a march. So it's a kind of improvisational way of thinking about composition. I hope you enjoy it. This is, I call vocal rooms, and this would be something probably also great for the kids. If they're kids that, you know, don't flip out with creativity. <laughs> so what it is, is what, so here, so think about this floor. This is our canvas. <laughs> you know, this is our canvas. So you're going to really make, um, really choose when you enter where in the space in relation to what's there, you're how you're going to relate in space. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to go into the room, and I'm just going to do a, a like a repeated, like a loop of a repeated pattern. So I'm, I might go, mm -hmm. ah. and then I might pause. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. ah. Okay, so I'm setting that up. I'm gonna, and I'm living, give, give, you can hear that I'm giving you a lot of space. I'm giving you a rest of six beats. So the next person that would come in doesn't necessarily have to come next to me. They could come across the floor and then add to that what I set up. So add either contrasting something, you know, where, in other words, I'm leaving you a lot of space to cover something else. So you want to listen for pitch, like for example, if everybody's singing low that's in there, when you come in, then maybe we need a high, maybe we need a sustain note, maybe we need another uh, counter pattern, maybe we need a melody. Do you, you know, do you see what I mean? And really try to go, okay, if she's over here, what would be the wonderful place to, to set up tension in the space between the person that's in there and what I'm going to do? And we build up, so, so there'll be, let's build up to maybe five people and then we'll have a whole pattern. And then, I'll, and then you can add landscapes, you can add characters. I mean, it's, you know, this is just, now we're just working musically, okay? So I'm gonna set this up. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. ah. Anybody who wants to come in, come in. Let's, we'll build to five, okay? Mm -hmm. And actually what I'd like to ask you to do is walk in silence and then just get yourself into the, now we're just working points. And you know, we're not w working on locomotion and singing. So that was a beautiful counter melody. So just find a place and do it, okay? You know, so actually sophisticated choices, wonderful. Because, 
So I had the rest and he filled that rest in. You, in, you understand, you, you just try to figure out where your space is. That was a very nice counter melody. All the counter melodies were great. The only thing was we were all facing the same direction <laughs> instead of thinking, how about what would be interesting in space? Maybe it would be interesting like to be down. Maybe it would be interesting to turn your back. You, you see what I'm saying? You're, you're, we're dealing three dimensions in space and, and compositionally. Then if you were teaching this, you can add like, okay, now we're going to do a desert. What would, you know, and you're going to add in one by one. We're going to create a landscape. But let's do another music, musical one. So somebody else go in and set it up. And it can be all different kinds of qualities. It can be sustained, very soft. It can be melodic. It can be percussive. It can be, you know, I taught this in Brazil. I was like, I'm your teacher. <laughs> you know, they're so inventive. But I'm loving your invention. So let, that was very good. And you know, there's kind of different levels of sophistication with it. So somebody set up a loop for us. For us, please. Like it. It's a really nice one. Nice.